Hello students, this is Professor Ashish T. Patil from Department of Mechanical Engineering, KIT's College of Engineering, Autonomous Kulhapur. We are in the subject of Total Quality Management and today we are starting with the unit number 3 that is Customer Relation and Satisfaction. So, whenever you are talking about the terminology customer, the first and foremost thing you should know about consumerism. So, what exactly you mean by consumerism? When we see the definition of consumerism, it is an economic and societal way of viewing and understanding the economy and which tries to focus on the idea of consumption of a steady supply of goods and services by the citizens of a given country. So, if we split this definition, it is the economic and societal way. So, obviously, the economy of the society is involved and it tries to understand what exactly the economy is and how the consumption and the steady supply of goods and services are there in that economy and how these are consumed by the citizens of a given country. So, in that way consumption of goods and services by the individual consumers will help the economy for driving it. That means, it drives the economic engine of a consumerist society. For example, let us take example of farmer who produces the sugar cane. Now, the farmer produces the sugar cane and send it to the factory. In factory, various products and byproducts are produced. For example, from sugar cane, sugar is produced which is supplied into the market. Again, bagasse is produced which is used for generating the electricity. Then some molasses and other byproducts are produced. Now, sugar which is sent into the market will be consumed by the customers. Then the electricity produced by the sugar factory will be sold to the state electricity boards especially in India and in turn this state electricity board supplies this electricity to the consumer where the consumer uses this electricity service. So, in this way a product gets produced and consumed in the market a service which is generated which is also utilized by the consumer. Then it creates jobs for workers. So, whenever uh, goods or services are produced in the industry, these industries generate jobs to workers. Again, these industries are there in the market to earn something. So, it will create the wealth also for those business owners and this wealth these business owners will utilize in further development of the economy. So, consumerism is an important component of the concept of supply and demand and it involves supply of goods and services and demand that is the consumption of goods and services by individual consumers. This demand and supply concept was initially coined by economist Adam Smith and based on this concept of demand and supply, the entire economy is driven. So, when we talk about origin of consumerism, people across many different civilizations, now you know that since the beginning of the civilization era, human beings started consuming the products. Initially, there was a system like, for example, 
barber provides his services and in return he will get the food grains so in such exchange kind of economy initial civilizations survived but when the modern concept of consumerism came into existence especially in 16th century in europe then this particular concept of consumerism got popularity so when we talk about consumerism we always talk about two major historical events which came to play an important role the first one is age of imperialism and second one is industrial revolution let us see these one by one so what exactly happened in age of imperialism or what point we will consider that this age of imperialism started basically during the age of exploration or you can call age of imperialism also this occurred during the centuries of 15th to 18th century when especially europe has faced the industrial revolution and during that period majority of the european countries especially england france spain and portugal these people went across the world and they discovered some unknown regions those are the america africa australian regions and some parts of the asian regions and these people then started the colonies in these areas or in these regions and this particular concept where these people have established these colonies in these relatively unknown regions is called as age of imperialism so initially when these people have established these colonies they have started supplying the raw material from these colonies to their parent european countries and where the factories were established and these factories in turn produce the goods and these goods are then supplied to rest of the world and in these colonies so indirectly or directly these colonies are where the actual market to these european nations for example these european nations established sugar and tobacco plantations throughout the this new world that is in these new colonies and then this raw material is then supplied to european nations where actually sugar related products and tobacco related products are produced and in return these products are again sold to these colonies so this particular era is called as age of imperialism next concept is industrial revolution this industrial revolution played very vital role when we consider the spread of consumerism it began in the 16th or say 17th century especially in england and then it got spread to many other countries of europe and the north america because of the industrialization and its capitalist economy this industrial revolution led to emergence of many different factories many different mines from where different kinds of products are produced and these products are sold throughout the world so these factories were able to produce countless number of inventions and because of these inventions new products are developed automobiles are developed and then the concept of mass production also came into existence and because of this concept of mass production the there is a change rather from small scale manufacturing to large scale or mass scale manufacturing industries and because of which there are abundance of new and new products in the market and these products were at 
low cost or you can say cheap goods were available to the consumer or the people in the market and because of which the people can afford these cheaper products and this led to the concept of consumerism because it has created the system where people could reasonably afford variety kind of products. So, this is the concept of industrial revolution. Let us pause the video and try to answer this question. I hope you have tried to answer this question. We will stop today for this session. Next time we will see the concept of customer and types of customers. Thank you.